because there will be times when you simply don't agree in, in, in reality in what the decision was. But the bad news is that there is no them and us. Once you become a supervisor, we're all them, right? There is no they say. We are them. We are them. It's you as a manager and your subordinate. You have become a manager. We do this because we think it's going to help us to get the allegiance of the people here. It's like we take our hands out. That's not me. I, I tell you that's not me. I got it. That's not me. That them people. Wait, so hold on. How will this gain you credibility? Because what you're really saying to your team is, I can't do nothing. And boss, sorry, but if you can't do nothing, what you did do that? What you did do that if you can't do nothing to help me? Right? That's what your staff is thinking. Like, why do you have a space around that table? But we do it because we think that it will mean to the staff, hey, you know what? I dep on the side. You see me? I dep on the side. And I'm not going to take a flap. No. You need to take your flap. You are management. So how do you navigate that tricky course? Because you have a seat around the table, but you're saying, but I sit on there, but nobody listen to me. I don't have a voice. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's a whole other story. How do you ensure that you have a voice and that your staff know that their needs were brought to the table without you go back and say, that's not me, that them. Because, say it, we are them. Say it, look at the person beside you and say, we are them. Look at the person beside you, yes. 